We do not know when we are going to die. If we sit and think about it, it is actually nothing less than a blessing, because if we knew, our lives would revolve only around the event of our deaths. Why? Let's find out in this movie. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2018 mystery thriller film London Fields. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles, and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see our main character Nicola. We get to know that she is about to be murdered, but she does not know who is going to be the murderer yet. She looks at someone through a car window and this is where the scene ends. Now we will get to know the whole story in a flashback. The story is being told to us by a writer. His name is Samson Young. Samson wants to write a novel, so he makes his way to London with the intention of writing a novel while he stays at his friend's place who also happens to be a writer named Mark Asprey, who himself goes to New York to live at Samson's place, so basically the two have swapped apartments. Mark's house is amazing and Samson loves it. Samson needs a guide to move around the city, so Keith is there to help him out with that. Keith is a crude slob who, despite not being very bright, excels at darts. After going to Mark's flat, Keith takes him to a pub called the Black Cross where he meets Guy Clinch, the current head of his family's business empire, who is trapped in a loveless marriage with his wife Hope. Clinch has a disturbed son who tries to destroy everything he can get his hands on, although he tries to be a good man and is not crude unlike Keith, but for some reason is his friend. Keith tells Samson that he is in big debt. He has spent all the money on amorous activities and then he took another loan to pay off the previous one and now he is in great debt. He has taken loans from many people and now he lives in constant fear that someone might come to kill him as he is unable to return their money. The last person he borrowed money from is known as Chick and he is a really dangerous person. Keith is a champion when it comes to darts. When he is about to show off his talent to Samson, there appears a beautiful woman named Nicola. Everyone starts staring at her as she walks in the bar. The moment Keith sees Nicola, he approaches her and on the other hand, Samson sees his main character in Nicola. Guy is sure that Nicola is way out of Keith's league, but Keith still goes on to flirt with Nicola who has just gotten back from a funeral. Nicola now stands between Keith and Guy. Keith tells her that she looks beautiful and just as she is about to leave, he buys her flowers, then he goes on to follow her to her house to get to know where she lives. Samson and Guy are also behind them and Samson is happy to know that she lives in the same building as him and he is also fascinated by her. The next day, Samson sits on his desk to write something but he is unable to pay attention. Then he sees Nicola going out and he follows her and sees that the woman is dumping some drawings and documents. She goes away after dumping her stuff and Samson picks up everything she has just thrown away and goes on to read it. Samson gets to know that when Nicola was a child, she knew about her friend's death just as she saw in her dream. Her friend died in the exact same way. After that, Samson goes on to read about her parents' death. He finds out that her parents also died the same way as she dreamt. She has now started thinking that when she is aware that everyone is going to leave her, then why should she love anyone? Samson then reads that Nicola has written about her death as well. She knows how and when she is going to die. Everything that Samson has read implies that Nicola has the power to see into the future, but can only see people's deaths. After reading all this, Samson goes to Nicola and brings all those books and papers with him. He tells her that he believes in everything she has written. He talks to her about knowing who is going to murder her. She tells him that she can only see visions. She goes on to add that she met her murderer yesterday, but she is not sure which one it is because she met multiple men. Samson thinks that it could either be Keith or Guy. He sees a great story in this whole situation. Samson asks her to be his main character. Nicola feels a little annoyed but ends up saying yes to it. In the next scene, we see that Keith comes to Nicola's house and she gives him some of her old stuff which he can sell as Keith is in need of money. In exchange, she asks him to set up a meeting in which only she and Guy will be present. Keith is a little surprised to hear this and right away goes to see Guy. He tells him that Nicola needs his help. Amidst their meeting, a Guy's wife and son show up. His son is abnormal and Guy has to babysit him for the whole day. He asks Keith to do this job and he goes to see Nicola. Guy calls Nicola and they set up a place to meet. Samson on the other hand is keeping an eye on everything that has been going on. Samson thinks that Nicola is trying to create a conflict because there are two boys and one girl so someone is bound to get hurt amidst this triangle. Nicola meets Guy and the two get to know each other. Nicola tells him that she used to work in an orphanage back in India where she met a girl who became a good friend of hers. However, Nicola had to come back home and when she asked about the girl later on, she got to know that the girl has been adopted by an Arab. The Arab then married the girl and now they have a baby as well. 
Mikola goes on to add that when she tried contacting the girl, she got to know that the girl is trapped there and she wants to get out of there. Nikola wants the girl to be in London, so she asks Guy to help her locate the girl. Guy, who already likes Nikola, agrees to help her out. When they are having dinner, Nikola tells him that she thinks they have a lot in common. Guy tells her that he is really happy he met her. Nikola then goes to see Samson. He tells her that Guy is going to fall in love with her and then he is going to be the one to kill her. In the next scene, we see that Samson and Keith are hanging out when a gangster named Chick comes to them. He addresses Keith and tells him that he has paid all the people from whom Keith borrowed the money, so now Keith has to give him the money he owes to all those people. He further adds that Keith is not allowed to borrow money from anyone else either. The story behind these two is that both of them are competitors when it comes to darts. There is going to be a competition, and if Keith is not able to return Chick's money before the competition, he is going to have a good excuse to physically hurt him so that he can win the competition with his opponent being injured. One day, there is a darts competition and Nikola and Guy together show up to watch Keith. Nikola grabs Guy's hand to make Keith jealous. Keith gets really angry and in order to prove himself, he wins the game. The next day, Nikola calls Keith to her house. When Keith shows up, Nikola is wearing white undies and looks extremely hot. Keith's mind is blown right away. Nikola then goes on to tell him that Guy is helping her out and she is about to get $60,000 from him. She offers him half of the amount if he is willing to do as she asks. She starts seducing both of them. Guy sees Keith as he is getting out of Nikola's house. He gets a little suspicious, but Nikola assures him that nothing of the sort happened between them. Guy tells Nikola that he's been trying his best to locate her friend, but there's no luck yet. Nikola gets really upset. She takes off her earrings and gives them to Guy, saying they are worth $60,000. She was to give them to a friend in foreign exchange. She tells him that her friend has located her friend and her son, and to get them out of there, he needs $60,000. She then goes on to tell him that these are her grandmother's earrings. Guy tells her not to worry about it and helps her wear the earrings, saying that he will take care of everything. The next day, Nikola pretends in front of Guy that she is meeting a foreign exchange officer, but in truth, she only meets a servant of hers. Looking at everything, Samson tries to tell Nikola that she can win. He tells her to stop doing everything, she can change her destiny. Nikola, however, tells him that she cannot change anything. Everything has been written down and it is bound to happen that way. Samson and Nikola have been spending time together, so they also start getting closer. Nikola grabs Samson's face and tries to kiss him, but he stops her. Nikola tells him that she knows he is dying of sickness and wants to complete the novel before he dies. Samson agrees and Nikola tells him that she will go first, Samson will complete the novel, and then he will die. Nikola calls Guy at night and tells him that she cannot continue seeing him. She tells him that she is going to return his money and that she will not see him again. Keith then comes to see her and demands his cut. She tells him that he will get his cut, but he has to do something before that. Nikola tells him to go to Guy and let him know that Nikola is about to leave the city and then he will come to her. Keith does exactly as he's been told and Guy quickly goes to see Nikola. Guy comes to Nikola and tells her that he is not going to let her just go like that. The two then proceed to have sex. In the next scene, we see that Nikola is hanging out with Samson and tells them that they have been so close, so something is bound to happen between them, so stop resisting so much. Samson resists a little, but ends up giving in to her beauty and art of seduction. The two then have sex. She is now playing with all three of them. Nikola then goes to Keith's house. Keith has a wife and a daughter. She tells his wife that she is from social services and that she is here to inspect the house. Nikola mocks the way they live and threatens to turn their daughter over to child services. Later that night, Keith goes to Nikola's flat to threaten her, but she has the money to pay off Chick, who paid off the other loan sharks, so now Keith owes it all to him. Keith is then kidnapped by Chick's men. They are about to kill him, but he tells them that he has the money, so they leave him. Keith has a big darts competition coming up, a competition that is going to get national coverage. Guy is also present at the competition venue, and one of Keith's friends comes to see Guy and tells him that Keith is having an affair. When the man tells him a little more about the relationship, Guy figures out that he is talking about Nikola and gets really upset. At home, Samson is going through his friend's books when he finds some pictures of Nikola with his friend and finds out that there was something between them as well. Guy, on the other hand, goes to Nikola and finds Keith already there. Guy questions Nikola about what Keith was doing there when he leaves. Nikola then guilt trips him into feeling bad for suspecting Nikola having an affair with Keith. The two then start getting romantic and proceed to sleep together. The next morning, Samson meets Nikola and talks to her about her affair with his friend, who is also a writer. It turns out that Nikola actually had a thing for his friend. The darts competition arrives, and Nikola rejects both Keith and Guy, kissing Chick in front of both of them. 
Samson finds photos in one of Mark's books showing his affair with Nicola on Guy Fawkes Night. Keith is really angry at Nicola and wants to kill her, but Guy stops her. Guy is then sitting in the car we see at the start of the movie. Samson gets there and tells Guy what he is about to do is not right and asks him to leave, and Guy leaves. Samson then gets in that car. On Nicola's 30th birthday, it is revealed that Samson is the one to kill her. Although she knew she was going to die that night, she did not know who would kill her. Samson loves Nicola, but he cannot afford to let anyone else kill her because it will ruin the ending of his novel. Nicola accepts her fate and Samson kills her. He then takes her body back to Mark's flat and prints his novel. He renames it London Fields and leaves a note on top of the novel before placing it on Nicola. He then lies next to her and dies. The next morning, Mark returns home to find both of them dead. He picks up Samson's novel and starts reading it. He sells the novel under his own name and it becomes a number one bestseller. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.